You're watching Just Throwable for the Working Soul. And today we are going to make a shrimp scampi. Our vegetables that we're going to use is a green pepper, some Roma tomatoes, red onions, garlic, which is my favorite, and shrimp. They are called white colossal shrimp. I just went and picked these up so they're not frozen and they're also deveined already. Um, they did have the shell on them. And for those of you that are scared and don't know how to de-shell a shrimp, I saved five to do in front of you. So I'll show you. So when it's deveined de already, it's pretty easy. Uh, the shell is cut. So you just pretty much peel it out just like this. The end is kind of the hard part where it's a little stuck together, but you just keep peeling and then you can just pull off. And it's easy Excuse like so. Remember, I have a special guest who may make appearance. His name is uh, Little Druvin, and that's my son. So you'll hear him out in the <laughs> Hello, guys. Mommy's a good cooker. Oh, well, come on in the camera, Drew. <laughs> All right, now go and get ready for our little meal in just a bit. It's going to take us 30 minutes. Right. It's already nice and clean. They deveined it for us, too. Don't be scared of the shrimp. And I got two more. See how quick that was. So we're gonna pair our shrimp with uh, angel hair pasta. You can choose whatever pasta you'd like. If you like spaghetti, if you like um, penne pasta, feel free to you know do your own thing. Remember, we cook um, without a recipe. I use the, I'll share my ingredients. Cooking should be fun and adventurous. You make it according to your liking and if you want it to have, add some, Additional ingredients by all means, please do, but I'm gonna share with you my baseline ingredients for this delicious meal. All right, so that was quick. Just throw in a bowl for the hardworking soul. So we just finished cleaning our shrimp. I'm going to use my favorite seasoning, garlic salt, and add a little black pepper to this bowl. So add your little garlic salt in there. You can be as generous as you like. I would go and recommend maybe about a, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of the garlic salt at first and just a little black pepper. And now my favorite is to cut our yummy, yummy, delicious vegetables so we can make our pot look as colorful as can be and it's going to bring some good flavors to our shrimp scampi. But first, you have to have a good, friendly knife that you like to work with. I have my favorite. It's nice and serrated how I would like it. Um, so make sure you have a knife that you enjoy working with. All right, so we'll start with, let's do the tomatoes first. Again, these are Roma tomatoes. They're very easy to cut. What we're gonna do is try to make, um, we want our tomatoes to simmer down to almost a sauce. So we just need our tomatoes to be cut down into little small pieces. If you wanna call it dicing, then call it dicing if you will, but I'm not too concerned. You can also use a blender, but I don't remember our goal is to make quick and easy meals here. The blender taking it out is gonna take some time. So we'll do it this way. <laughs> and cut it as such. This meal is gonna be so good. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Remember, we cook based on our own liking. Add as much salt as you feel or as little to no salt as you please. And we're just gonna throw our little veggies in a bowl. All right, we have our nice little bowl of tomatoes here. I like to add jalapenos to this dish because I just like spicy food. And my son likes spicy as well, believe it or not. So I'm going to add a little bit of jalapeno in here. Please, again, don't use jalapeno if you don't care to have spicy food. For those of you who aren't used to using fresh garlic, it has a little peel like this. Just peel it off and you can just cut it into little pieces as such. Dice it down. You're gonna leave that there. Again, I love doing this, this stuff. I don't know if you think of me as weird, but I love cutting vegetables. It makes me happy. After a long day of work, just be creative. 
with food. Yummy food that you get to eat. And so I hope you guys had a great day at work. I hope that, you know, you got through the hurdles of the normal day and don't let anybody get you down. You know, take that challenge, accept it for what it is, and just move forward. You know, don't let work stress you out. Obviously, it is going to be stressful. Um, but when you come home, try to unwind and relax and give that time to your family or your friends or yourself. Do something that you enjoy. This is what I enjoy. Um, and food is good for you. And I hope that instead of going out to eat, you come home and actually cook something that you would like to eat. All right, and we have our red onions. Mommy, I tried. All right, so we just finished cut our tomatoes, our jalapenos, and our onions. Now we're gonna finish our vegetables with some red onions and green peppers. I like to cut my onions like as such because um, it's bite-sized when they cook and it's easier, I like that. So we're gonna saute our onions with our garlic, so I'll just leave it here on this cutting board. We won't get to throw it in the bowl just yet. those over. Cut them like such. Very easy. Be careful for your fingers. And just in case I didn't mention earlier, I'm for I'm cooking about a pound of the colossal white shrimp. If it's just you, maybe a half a pound. If you want leftovers for work, maybe a pound and a half. Again, it's what you feel is best for your meal. All right, so we'll save our onions here for another day. So my favorite, another one of my favorites, I have a lot of favorites, is the green pepper. And just so you know, I prior to recording, I rinsed and washed all of our veggies really well, which I definitely recommend you should as well because they use so many pesticides on our, on our produce. I, I like to cut the insides of the pepper as such. And again, as such. So your pepper should look like this. And then we're just going to cut them long ways into strips. Next, I'm going to show you how I saute our veggies and shrimp. Shrimp cooks fairly quickly. You don't want it to overcook. I would say cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes, actually. Um, I try not to cook on high heat because when you cook on high heat, things cook really, really quickly, but the flavor gets, it doesn't get absorbed in your food and it makes the meat turn really tough really quickly and I don't like that. So definitely, I, whenever I cook, I try to cook on medium, a little over medium heat and that's how I get things going. All right, so we cut up our tomatoes and jalapenos. It looks so pretty. We have our red onions, garlic, and green pepper over here. And now we are going to move to the stove where we will saute our veggies. All right, folks, our Onions, tomatoes, garlic, olive oil has been sauteing for about two minutes now. It looks really colorful in this pot. To add some more color, we're gonna add our green peppers to it. Just throw it in the pot. Now this is where I would like to add our uh, Worcestershire sauce. It's gonna help us make our saute these vegetables even more. And then we'll add about four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Everybody's taste buds is different and cooking is adventurous. So once you get to a good point of your meal, I suggest tasting it. If you're not a taster, that's okay. We have our all of our vegetables in a pot with some balsamic vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna let this go for on high heat now for just about a minute or two. I'm going to bring out a frying pan and pour all of these ingredients in the frying pan with the shrimps. Our vegetables are nice and tender, 
So we're ready to go ahead and throw in our shrimp. Remember, shrimp cooks fairly quickly. So I'm gonna turn off this heat. We're gonna move plates. I'm gonna move my frying pan to the front. We are going to move this vegetables. They are so delicious. Look at this. We got our peppers, everything coming out of this nice and now we are going to add our shrimp that has garlic on it, a little garlic salt, and pepper. That's it. Remember, it's going straight from our bowl into this sauteed veggies already. Throw it in here like so. Shrimp cooks fairly quickly. All right, guys, our shrimp is now in our frying pan. We have it over our bed of veggies. I'm going to add just a dash of I would say probably about a tablespoon of garlic butter just to add some some more flavor if you even need it to this dish. All right, we are going to cook this baby on high. And now that our water is boiling, I have a box of angel hair pasta. Remember, this really cooks quickly as well. Because my son and I don't like fighting with pasta when we eat, I like to break our pasta in half before it goes into the pot. Like so. Or else we'll be twirling that fork all night long, and we don't want to do that. So we broke our pasta in half, threw it in the pot. It already has salt. It's boiling. And we'll put this for about five to seven minutes. It's angel hair. It cooks really quickly. And while that's going on, I would like you to check out our shrimp. You'll notice that the shrimp is turning from br uh, brown to a pink color. For those of you who just aren't familiar with uh, cooking shrimp, once it gets to a nice pink color, you know that you're almost done. And as you can see, that was very quick. I think it's been on here for about three minutes on high. We'll let it cook. Um, I'm going to move the heat from high to medium. Move our heat to medium. Mm, it smells so good in here. Hey guys, thank you for joining me on Just Throw It In A Bowl for The Working Soul. Today we made our shrimp scampi dish with pasta. We all work after a hard day of work. We have to come home and cook, whether it's for ourselves, our family. The most important thing is to cook something that we can actually eat and enjoy quickly. Um, we know what we're consuming and it's healthy. It's better than going to the nearest fast food restaurant. So today we'll recap what we made within 30 minutes. Between the prep time and the cook time, we made our dish, a shrimp scampi dish threw all of our vegetables in a pot, we sauteed it. We started off with our onions, our garlic, with a little bit of olive oil. Once we sauteed that, we moved our heat up to high. We threw in our tomatoes with a little bit of jalapenos if you like it. If you, once we got it really nice, we threw in our bell peppers, and in which then we threw our shrimp in that pan and watched it go from gray to a nice pretty pink color and we added our garlic butter onto that and that took about a total of 10 minutes right there to cook um, all in all and then while all of that was going we had our water boiling with a little bit of salt we threw in your choice of pasta mine was angel hair pasta i like thin pasta we cut it up broke it in half threw it in a pot and then we let that angel hair pasta go for about five minutes. We threw it in a bowl, in a pot, and now on a plate, and it looks as such. I like to pair this type of dish with a nice glass of white wine, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. Remember, cooking can be fun, easy, and it's so healthy when you know what you're ingesting in your body. I know it's hard to work all day and then come home and cook, but when you do it within 30 minutes with fun, fresh ingredients, it's always a joy. I hope you enjoyed throwing it in a bowl for the working cell. Cheers.